We are back on the world famous K Rock. It's 106.7 KRQ live from the Red Bull Sound Space with one of the biggest bands in the world, Arcade Fire, in town for two shows at the Forum tonight and tomorrow night. Go see these guys. They are great, great, great live. Uh, let's talk a little bit before we go out to the audience and get our uh, first question from the crowd. Let's talk a little bit about Reflector. A lot of people were surprised when the album came out. It was so different in some people's eyes to what you had done before. Did you feel it was as well, or did it just seem like a natural progression of the kind of music you wanted to make? I don't know. I mean, it, it takes us about four years, three, four years to make an album. So you're pretty different when you graduate college from when you start college. So every four years, I think everyone, you know, hopefully you change and evolve. And kind of, if, so it feels natural for us, but we knew it was a bit of a departure, but. We want to do something different. Do you do you feel like uh, I mean that's where you'll be for the next record too? Is hey we're four, you know we're three four years older and you have no idea what it's going to sound like, but it'll be whatever feels right at that time too. Yeah, or like fifteen years older, you never know. <laughs> Maybe you should speed it up a little. Maybe you should do a, an album every two years. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> nope. Just make him half as good. All right. That's easier said than done, I think, right. Kevin. Maybe, okay. perhaps. All right, let's go out to Dave, the King of Mexico, producer of the Kevin Bean Show, in the audience with a lucky Arcade Fire fan. Who's up first, King? I got Jake. I just want to know who some of your favorite contemporaries are. <laughs> think about that for a sec. Uh, say again? We've got to think about that for a sec. A okay, lot of that's fine. I mean, we're, we're touring with our favorites. We're, we've, we're playing with Dan Deacon now, and he's amazing. We play with Tune Yards, Antibalas. We're about to play with the Unicorns, their first shows. The Unicorns. That's like maybe all of our favorite band in some way. That, that's a pretty fascinating story. I think a lot of people who are coming to the forum tonight might want to know. They don't recognize the, the name The Unicorns, but this is a very special show tonight. Yeah, The Unicorns uh, came out of the same scene as us in Montreal, and they, they were kind of the first band in Montreal that uh, they got signed by Rough Trade Records and they brought us on our first US tour and uh, we had nothing going for us and, and we were just friends of theirs and, and uh, they made a record, uh, Who Will Cut Our Hair when, or, when We're Gone, that Richie helped work, work on. It's, it, it's yeah, so and they recorded the record on the same tapes that we recorded our e EP on, like on, they just flipped the tape over and recorded it. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, like they're a, an incredible band. There's a weird band. of Regine singing backwards in one of the songs <laughs> left over from wow. the tape. Did, did you guys still have that tape? That sounds like a little piece of rock history that somebody ought to put in a museum one day. Yeah, right. well, it's on the record. You can hear it. There's a bit of uh, headlights look like diamonds in the background of one of the songs on that record. But they had broke up, though, and this show tonight is going to be kind of their first show in a long time, right? Yeah. yeah the guys, like, weren't even talking. Nine, nine or ten years. I that's think. A, yeah, I mean, that's pretty cool. Yeah. And yeah. you opened for them back in the day, and now they're opening for you. So it's like a real special full circle. Yeah, yeah totally. I mean, they uh, they're an incredible band. The record super holds up ten years yeah. later. Um, so yeah, we, I mean, we had a there was I don't know if you guys have ever heard of Wolf Parade or there was there's a we 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 felt very lucky to be in Montreal at that time because there were these bands that had really catchy melodies and hooks and stuff like that but we're really coming from a punk aesthetic and it uh Making but art. we're so different you know it's such a you know from godspeedy black emperor to the unicorns is pretty extreme uh, gap so i know you guys are all such big uh, music fans passionate fans you strike me as the kind of people who'd be playing music even if you didn't have a record deal you know and didn't have fans you just do it because you love it but when you travel the world and play all these big shows the glastonbury's and the you know the fujis and things like that you get to see everybody out there you get exposed to so many new things, so different from you. Do you make friendships with a lot of these people that you see, or is it you're just so rushed going in and out that you don't get a chance to spend any quality time with them? Both. <laughs> All right. Really, really fast, rushed quality time, and then right. we can run away and get on a bus. We got two minutes. Let's make it count. But I really like you. You seem great. Okay, cool. See you in uh, Tokyo in six months. Peace. <laughs> Does collaboration ever come out of that when you meet somebody who just seems like he's on your wavelength and you go, hey, let's work together, dude, and it might happen? I mean, Richie, Richie's done a lot of stuff with the guys from The National, uh, right? Yeah. I mean, that's how we met Owen originally also. It's like playing shows with the hidden cameras and met Owen and was like, Owen was like, you guys are great. I'd like to come play violin sometime. And we were like, we would love and, you to do that. <laughs> that's and that easy? And, and James Murphy, like LCD Sound System, opened right. for us on... Um, on the Neon Bible tour, but it was, that was that was one of the best tours we ever did. And we, we'd seen them like that was like at a rock festival. Just we'd like go in and we watch them at a rock festival in Spain. It was like this is the greatest live band. Oh my yeah. god! <laughs> and, 
you know, so it happens. Great, be, uh, great answer. Dave, let's do one more from the crowd. Who's next, please? All right, I got Maddie from Los Angeles. Okay, uh, you guys have been doing a lot of cover songs on this tour. What's your absolute favorite song to cover? Um, we did Motown Philly. That was an event. <laughs> Come on, give it up for Boys to Men, everybody. I'll go with that. Right? That was definitely our most ambitious cover. That was an ambitious cover. Yeah. Are you good? We immediately forgot it. Uh, yeah. are, <laughs> are you good at playing covers? Can you like, hey guys, let's play this this Stone song or this Prince song or this CCR song or whatever it is that night, and you guys can just pick it out, or do you? Does it take a lot of work to practice and learn it? Motown Philly, for example, took a lot of work. <laughs> <laughs> Rolling Stones, not as much work. Not not as hard. Different genre. If the song is just piano, regime playing piano and drums, then we can do any song immediately. <laughs> Pick a song. We've gotten faster at it. I mean, that was part of why we started playing cover songs. Like, let's learn how to be just like a down-home rock and roll band in a bar. That, that sounds fun, by song. the way. That's, yeah. It must be fun to kind of play somebody else's song, too. We're doing an after party on Saturday after the show. Um, and uh, these guys have a cover band called Feist Slamma Jamma that's my favorite cover band. <laughs> um, but yeah, so yeah, we just started... Uh, they just started doing it to like kind of okay. play, just to play music. And to play music, and then it became a thing of like connect to the town that you're in musically. It's like, right. oh, we're in Detroit. Let's play a song that came out of Detroit. You Fine. know, let's play a Stevie Wonder song. Or speaking you know. of that, uh, that after party that's happening Saturday night. When you're DJing, also. Yeah. DJ Windows 98. Windows 98. This is DJ Windows 95. Too, that's to fantastic. My left. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how you I don't know how you are at DJ, but those are great names. Yeah. <laughs> what do you like to play? Windows two thousand is taken already, but I'm gonna take it eventually so no one can claim that. What uh, do you like to play? Um I play a lot of like I, I found a lot of kind of uh, Haitian music from being in Haiti, but African Haitian music, some hip hop, some uh good seventies, seventies stuff, disco, uh kind of wrong. See anything. There's so much arcade fire happening in this town this weekend, right. you guys. Yeah. Go online to their website and get information about the after party tour. All right, we're going to take a quick break, come back. The band's going to play more. We got more questions for you. It is the Red Bull Sound Space here on the Kevin and Bean Show. Arcade Fire, more with Breakfast with right after this.